In this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit an email signature in Exclaimer Cloud Signatures for G Suite. I need to add a promotional banner to my email signature. I also wanna put the company name in there and maybe I wanna put in a section where it will show the sender's photo on their email signature. So let's get started. If I wanted to create a signature from scratch or use an existing template and make a new signature, I could click new signature but I've made one already and I wanna make some changes to it. So I'll click signature design. In here, number one, I wanna put in a banner just underneath most of the email signature, but above that legal disclaimer. So in here, I'll go to images and icons. And I'll just drag in where it says banner. And if I go and I think I've got my banner right here. All right, looks good. So, I wanna just put a little bit of padding in between the banner and the bottom of the rest of my email signature. So I'm just gonna go in here and I'll put in like, let's say 10 pixels of padding. All right, looks very good. Uh, then I wanna hyperlink it. So this has gotta actually link back to my company website. So in here we'll go just www. and then it's greenorganization.net. And I'll put some alt text on there. No. Come watch our webinars. Great. Then I also want to add in a little extra section for the name of the company. So up here in text and fields, I'm just going to drag in a text box. We'll put it there. Now, of course, I could just type in the name of the company. But if I use this little curly bracket symbol on my keyboard and I start typing, I could actually use a field that will be filled in with the contact details from Google directory. So full name for me is gonna be filled in with Brad Shepard. It'll be Karen Green for Karen. Job title, become graphic designer or product specialist, whatever the person's job title is. All right, this is, uh, this is looking good so far, but I also wanted to add in a photo for people. So in here, I'll go to images and icons and I'll just drag in this little user photo object. Now in this case, rather than me adding the photo myself, it's gonna put in a different photo per person. So uh, for Karen there, it'll show a photo of her. For me, it would show uh, my photo, etc. All right, this looks good. I'll click save and then I'll click close. And it's just worth mentioning, you can manage those photos yourself by going to user photos in Exclaimer Cloud. But we've covered that in a separate video. So I've got my signature all set up and we're ready to go. Thanks very much for watching.